Hola mis amores. Happy Thanksgiving week. First, before I tell you about the perfumes that I chose for an amazing Thanksgiving day, I want to know what your tradition is like. Isn't it so wonderful to have a certain scent that you reach for on that Thanksgiving day? I mean, I just, I look forward to specific events and moments that I can actually pick what perfume I'm gonna wear on that day because it just makes it that much more special to me. I would love to know what your tradition is for Thanksgiving. Thanksgivings are interesting. They can be super drama filled, full of love and full of fights and full of food and full of drinks and festivities and they can like so many things can happen on Thanksgiving. Before I tell you the perfumes I picked and why, I'll just let you know that <laughs> Thanksgiving for me, like I didn't really ever celebrate Thanksgiving. I am from Honduras and we didn't do that there. I don't know. I think now, I think now my family does do it. I think, I'm not sure, <laughs> but yeah, growing up in Honduras as a kid, I never, we never did Thanksgiving. And then we moved uh, to the States and we didn't do Thanksgiving either. In Spanish, it's called El Dia de Acción de Gracias, but we just did not have that tradition. My, my first experience with Thanksgiving that I can remember, I mean, it was a pretty monumental because I just never remember doing them before, but my first experience with a Thanksgiving dinner was when my mother met my stepdad and I was a teenager, I think I was, I don't remember how old I was. I think I was 17, maybe. And we went to their, <laughs> their family house. And I was just, um, they are very, they are, were very traditional, you know, American style of Thanksgiving. I had never been to anything like that before. And I don't know if it was my rebellious head, my rebellious teenage attitude, but I didn't want to be there. And it was just boring and I did not have a good time. So ever since then, we did have Thanksgivings at the house, but I was just never, I've not to be Debbie Downer on your Thanksgiving. I don't mean to rain on anybody's Thanksgiving parade. Really, I want you to know what Thanksgiving means to me, why I chose these perfumes, because it's not really the traditional Thanksgiving mood that I get into. You know, I don't have that tradition. It's, I don't even eat any of the food made on Thanksgiving. So for me, Thanksgiving means fun <laughs> because so, Everybody knows the night before Thanksgiving Day, it's like the biggest party, uh, the biggest party night in America. I used, I bartended for many, many years and it was the busiest night. I made the most money and it was just such a fun. It was just everyone is partying, party hard the night before Thanksgiving. So you wake up with a hangover and you're gonna go eat all this food, right? So to me, Thanksgiving is, how I do Thanksgiving, honestly, I'm the girl in the corner drinking wine, talking a little smack to my little sister, watching her yell at me, and I'm laughing. <laughs> I wish I was joking. <laughs> I wish that wasn't me, but it is. That's Thanksgiving for me. I'm, I'm really just watching everybody cook. I'm drinking wine. I may eat a little salad, a little green bean here and there, but I'm just listening to everybody frolicking around trying to bother my little sister. That is my Thanksgiving. <laughs> so now that you have that picture in your head of what that what Thanksgiving means to me, um, maybe you'll see why I pick these perfumes and maybe you'll pick them too. Maybe they'll be in your lineup. Maybe you have my kind of Thanksgiving. Overall, it may not be a traditional Thanksgiving, but I still do, I still do feel, I, I do feel that mood, you know, that specific, the specific holiday mood, like thanks, each day brings you a different kind of feeling. Like Thanksgiving gives you a different feeling that it's very inexplicable. And you know, when you get around to Christmas, that gives you a very different type of holiday feel you know every day is like very specific around these times so i do get that feeling of thanksgiving even though it may not be traditional so i will share with you the perfumes that i picked that i think would be perfect 
for Thanksgiving Day. And, and, and I always work Thanksgiving Day. I always work every holiday. So I like get off work, I run home, try to make it to prayer and open my bottle of wine. So I guess the best way to describe it is these are my Thanksgiving picks for a fun, dramatic, filled, free, you do whatever you want, Thanksgiving. All right, the first one I'm gonna have, I think is the most expensive here, maybe. Tal vez, quizás, Vanilla 44 by Le Labu. I love Le Labu, don't let me get into it. This is a city exclusive from Paris. And I should do a review on it because I was about to get into like the whole Paris mood it gives me because it really does. Paris, gloomy, chic, fabulous, whatever. But for Thanksgiving, <laughs> Thanksgiving, Vanilla 44, I'm like talking to you like this. I'm like, can you hear me? <sighs> Relájate. Uh, Vanilla 44, I just adore. I was like, the Le Labu, the Le Labu, <coughs> the Le Labu SE was like, make a decision. I was at the counter, I can't even tell you for how long. I was trying to figure out, first I was trying to figure out if I wanted this one or the Gayak or the Mousse de Chan. And then, cause it was, you know, they're only available in September. So, um, and I think it was the last week of September last year. And, um, and then I was, and then I was at the counter forever been like, do I want this? Cause I loved it, but man, it's so, I wanna say it's worth the price because I love it so much, but it's really not. Like it's ridiculously expensive, but I love it and I don't regret it. It's a spicy, spicy, woody, very unisex, like, I don't wanna say flat vanilla because I wanna, if, I mean flat and like not, not sweet, it's, I don't get a sweetness at all, but you can smell the vanilla, if that makes sense. It's kind of, kind of aldehydic, and I think it has a citrus note in there, that's why the vanilla smells a little flat, but it's one of the most interesting vanillas I've ever smelled. And it's fun, and if you're gonna eat and drink all day and like maybe recover from a hangover, La Goma, uh, Vanilla 44 Le Labu. Oh, maybe I'm gonna wear this one. I'm gonna say that about all of them. But maybe this is, I just think this is a perfect choice. I'm gonna start off that way. I think I'll do my spicy ones first. So this is another spicy one that I just adore. This is Sana Jardin, Harding, Sana Harding. Tiger by her side. And this is also a deliciously, deliciously spicy, very unisex, semi-sweet fragrance. Yeah, it's like, it also reminds me of a freaking good time. It reminds me of just party time, not worrying about anything and dealing with all the punches your family's gonna give you. <laughs> and all the kisses and hugs and love too you know this is just an all around these are all all around types of perfumes and it's just just so perfect for the type of food the type of festivities the kind of mood that you're going to be in all day on thanksgiving day and did i not mention also being grateful but we're grateful every day it's spicy amber It says it's patchouli in here, but I don't, I'm not good at this stuff. I don't know if there's any patchouli in there. I don't think I smell it. The vanilla in here is a little bit stronger than in, uh, no, I don't want to say it's stronger. No, 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 because it's, it's very present in vanilla 44, but um, not stronger, but just sweeter. It's a little bit sweeter in here, but so beautiful. Very beautiful. I love, love. I'm sorry for the light, guys. Tell me if this bothers you, but <laughs> it's like, 
getting dark these days, daylight savings at like two o'clock in the afternoon. No joke. So we do what we can. But tell me if it bothers you, then I'll try and figure out a nighttime lighting situation. Like my last video, my Sephora haul video, that was at night. Let me know if that was okay. Cause I thought it looked kind of messy. Let me know if that was okay. I think this is better, maybe. Okay. Uh, I think I have a trend going on here on this like wo uh, woody, spicy, amber, sweet, spicy <laughs> perfumes for the day. I didn't realize. But this is another one. This is another. Oh, so this is Wood Jasmine by BDK. Did I tell you what the other ones were? I hope I did. This is Wood Jasmine by BDK and it's Jasmine, right? But I don't get, I don't get white floral. It says there's white floors, florals in here. This is very strong plum. Plum, a little sticky sweet, but all, but very wearable. I think it's wearable because the woodiness tones it down. But this is very good. This is a very good, perfect, delicious scent to wear while you're stuffing your face on Thanksgiving and having a delicious glass of wine or whatever you drink, a beer. Water? <laughs> Do you drink water? <laughs> I drink water. <laughs> Shut up. Is, yes. I think this is the strongest one out of the one. Actually, Tiger by Her Side is pretty strong, but this is the sweetest one so far. Uh, very beautiful, very delicious, very, very delicious, fun party festivities in the holidays. BBK Wood Jasmine. And I love these bottles. Oh. I know that. Donde estás? I know that I just got this one. Lanterdi by Givenchy. And a lot of people I know are calling this sexy. I don't think it's sexy. It is kind of like, it's a little sexy, but it's not like blah, 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 sexy. It's more like, yeah, I'm sexy. And that's it. You know, look at me. I'm sexy. That's what this is. But like, don't touch me. At least, at least that's what I get. Um, oh, you're so ridiculous. This one, this has, this has blood orange, tuberose. It says it has, um, it says it has vetiver in here, which I guess that's what's, yeah, like toning the sweetness down, but it's rich and dark and deep and like perfect. It's like if you want to wear this on the Wednesday to go out the night before, oh my God, let's party all night. Shots, shots, shots. You want to party with me. I'm just saying, you want to party with me. This is so fun, so fun and festive and very, very dolled up scent. I'm very much a fan of this one. And it's, it's a little thick and syrupy, but it, but it, I don't, I don't find it coying. I find it very sweet and fun and very girly. But you know what? I love sweet scents on men. So this one is girly, like, cause it's sweet. I do find it feminine leaning, but but maybe not because it's spicy too. It's like spicy. I love sweet scents on men. So maybe try it out. This is a classic party going out perfume. Now this one I think is very feminine. You can't go wrong with La Nuit Tresor. I don't think. It's very syrupy, very sticky. But very, it, remi it just reminds me of dancing and sweating and having a great time out with your friends. Music is loud, music is bumping, and you probably broke your heel on the pavement, like I did. <laughs> and like, I can't tell you guys how many times I broke my heels. Let's not talk about that, or let's. This is definitely like when people say balsamic, I definitely get like a balsamic note in here. It's very sweet. It's like fruity, caramel, um, 
caramel balsamic fruits. That's what I get. I love it. I mean, I love it. I've always loved it. And you know what? I do, I smell the Absolutely Blooming by Dior. And they smell pretty similar. The other one, Absolutely bl Blooming, I actually feel is a little sweeter and brighter, but this, uh, which will, I think that one will also, would also be a good choice for Thanksgiving. I don't have it. Actually, my package got lost and it was like, it's like a big thing and it's, um, I don't have it. I don't have it. Too much drama. I like Thanksgiving. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really am. I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Uh, this is, yeah, you, I don't think you can go wrong with La Nuit Resort. I'm doing a good job in sticking to categories. Because this is another, like, syrupy sweet one. But very delicious and so fun. It's got dust on it. I have not worn her in a minute. She's very, she's hard to reach for. So, like, these two are hard to reach for for me because they're so sweet and very specific. Like a, 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 a specific night out kind of scent for me is these. But this is Girl of Now, Ellie Staub. Sweet. I would say this is a little balsamic, is it? Amber, vanilla, floral. I definitely get the almond in here. It's so good. It's so like delectable and so fun and such a happy perfume. I don't know about the pistachio that you, that people say is in here. I guess that's the almond, but to me, I just smell almond. But this is a, to, this is a perfect, uh, perfect choice. And she's got dust. I'm sorry, girl. Girl of now, Ellie, stop. My best friend is the cutest. Christine, I love you. She got me a, she's not watching this, <laughs> but she, for my birthday, she got me um, a whiff of a waffle cone. She's the cutest. I was like, what? She got me a whiff of a waffle cone. And with gourmands, like, I don't like to smell like food. So for, to if you want to, like, wear a straight up gourmand, I think this would be so beautifully perfect to wear on Thanksgiving because you do smell like a dollop of whipped cream literally you smell like a dollop of whipped cream with some drizzled uh drizzled caramel smoke on there it's like a perfect if i was to wear anything that smells like food and like it's so like you could lick the bottle because it smells so sweet and so realistic it would be whiff of a waffle whiff of a waffle, waffle cone. whiff of a waffle cone is a perfect gourmand to wear on Thanksgiving. I love this line. I think they are so artistic and innovative. I love imaginary authors. I don't know why I don't have any. This is my first one. But it's, man, this is perfect to wear on Thanksgiving day. And the last two I think are my top choices for now, for this year. I, so this one I just got as well at the Sephora haul, if you didn't watch my video. This is Perfect by Marc Jacobs. Perfect by Marc Jacobs Intense. I cannot tell you how much I love this bottle. This bottle to me is perfection. It is just perfect to me. I love it. Um, I think this is so beautiful and perfect for Thanksgiving because it's just like the little, the little hint of gourmand, like it's like creamy almond, kind of sweet, but not really creamy almond fresh, just creamy almond floral fresh. That's what I get. I think it's beautiful. I don't think it smells designer. I definitely think feel. I definitely feel like it smells more niche. I think this is so like delicious, not in like a, it's like a, just a hint of gourmand kind of way. I think this is perfect for a hangover if you went out. Um, Cause it's got like, it's a little fresh and floral, but, but super almond at, at the same time. And it's not bitter almond. It's a very creamy golden toasted almond. Let me know if you guys have tried this. This is new. I think <laughs> it's pretty new and I just think it's great 
I love it. So this is, yeah, this is a, this probably will be my choice. And the last one I will share with you. It makes me cry. <laughs> Uh, after all the family drama that I, you know, that I make fun of, I absolutely adore my family and this perfume just reminds me, it tugs at my heart because it reminds me of my mom's house. And you know, I talk a lot of smack, but at the end of the day, I'm a little mush mush. And this just puts me in my mom's backyard and the smell, you know, she always has a bonfire going on and she's always cooking stuff that I don't eat, but nevertheless, nonetheless, it smells delicious. So it's like sweet cooking, you, you get the smoke from the bonfire in the backyard and it's, it's, it's just, this is one of my most beautiful perfumes and, and it probably because, yeah, I'm like, I get a little emo about it because it reminds me of my mama and my mama's house and my dad's probably over there sitting alone in a corner drinking beer. My dad watches this. <sighs> Hola, papi. But this is Lune... Did I tell you? This is Lune Feline by Atelier de Oros. Uh, this is the most perfectly sweet smoky scent in the world well i haven't tried them all but it's the most perfectly sweet smoky scent in the world this is so magical and beautiful and transporting transporting so i may be biased but i think this will forever be my number one thanksgiving scent even if i choose other ones at some point in the day i have to smell this because it makes me sad and it makes me sad because they live in florida i live in cali so that's why it's sad <laughs> i would be like you saw her yesterday no i don't see them that often especially with covid now oh man it's been it's been nuts so yeah mis amores i hope you guys have a wonderful thanksgiving even if it's full of people talking smack to you like me <laughs> thanksgiving is full of love full of these really special inexplicable moments in your heart that we have to appreciate and we have to be grateful for and it's a special holiday and just there to remind us to bring us together and remind us how much love and gratefulness we have even if you feel like you lack some of those areas or even if you're missing someone even if you are just not in the right state of mind. Find how much love you have and how much love you, you, there is in the world, how much love you have for yourself. I hope you feel the vibrations of all the goodness around you and that you feel happy and you feel loved and you feel healthy and safe and inspired and admired and all the goodness. I wish you all the goodness of life. Everything has to offer. And if you pick one of these perfumes, tell me. I want to know, and I want to know if it's because of me. God, why are you like that? But I do. I love getting credit. So that's just how I am. In all realness, let me know what your Thanksgiving is like and what your perfumes are. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful everything around Thanksgiving week. Uh, wish you much success and love and happiness. And I already said it, but I could say it a million times over because you deserve the world. And like I said, I hope you feel all of the goodness and grateful vibrations this world has to offer. I know I'm on a soap box all the time. I'm just getting started. I don't know, you might want to click out. <laughs> oh, so sad. Oh, I love you. Love you, mama. Love you, papa. Love you. My tata. My tata's my my tata's my baby sister. She's like the most magical human being. Anyway, los amo. Amo, 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 amo. Happy Thanksgiving 2021. Oh, let me grab Chewy. Sleeping. Estaba dormido, mi amor.
Dígale, dígale. I'm sorry. Happy Thanksgiving from my baby to yours. ¿Qué pasó, mi bebé? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Te desperté? ¿Te desperté? Oh, yeah.